Karen Stewart with Inspired Me Learning and Mentoring, and uh, this is the What Inspires You video series. Today I am joined by Fallon Bostrom, who is the owner of Glow Juicery here in St. Albert. Now, Fallon's just opened a brand new location in St. Albert uh, this last Saturday. So let's just start right in by asking you, Fallon, what inspires you? A little bit more about yourself, just kind of than us know. Thank you, Carolyn, for coming and coming to my shop and the series. I do appreciate that. Um, so a little bit about myself. As you just said, just opened up a glow juicery. Um, very excited to do that. It's always been a dream to open a business. Uh, I have a commerce degree. Got that many years ago. But oh, wow. did a few different things in life. Uh, stayed at home for a while to have some kids. Yes. So this is this is a new big step for me. Right. Um, in terms of what inspires me, I would say I'm very inspired by the people around me. I've been relying a lot on friends and on family and on my team to get me to this point. What I've realized more than ever is that I can't do things alone. I think Good as, realization. Yes. I think as as a woman especially, as a mother, we kind of we're taught to prioritize that self-reliance, that independence of doing everything on your own. Yeah. And it's hard to accept help. But now more than any other time in my life it's been a time where I need to accept that help. Mm -hmm. Not in a position to be able to repay those favors immediately, so just being able to accept and gratitude being close enough, exactly. is, it can be difficult but very much appreciated, so that's, yes. that is inspiring to yes. see everyone come together and have that kind of support. So. Yeah, well yeah, as a giver, it's, it's hard yeah. to accept that support, very so hard. I, can, yeah. <laughs> I can relate. <laughs> Wonderful. The next question I'm going to ask you is where you find your inspiration. So people, resources, you kind of touched on that a little bit. Yeah, everywhere I guess. I mean, it's been wonderful going through this process. All the new people that I've been meeting have been fantastic. I'm very inspired by the yeah. team of people that are around me and supporting me. Uh, I am a reader. I love to read. But right now I feel like that's sort of fallen on the wayside. Yeah. <laughs> Different time. <laughs> Absolutely. I, I consider myself more of an introverted person. Um, I like to research and read. And there was a period in this business development process where that's where I was at. Mm. Right now, being opened, it's a lot of learning on the fly. Yeah. Um, responding to situations, learning from the people around me. Yeah. So I would say that's been the most interesting transition from going to be the behind the scenes research oh, person yeah. to the living in the moment and yes. responding and the learning face. on the fly. You're here. Yeah, we're here. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. The doors are open. Yeah. So, so yeah. yeah, that's been that's been great. Definitely learning and being inspired by the people people around me. Perfect. Yes. All right. So the next question I'm gonna ask you is what you do for self-care. I know this might be a little bit of a crazy time and maybe it's fallen by the wayside, but... It has. It has. Um, right now, more than ever, I'm just trying to prioritize that balance between work and my family life. Right. Um, it's my most calm times when I can relax is when it's just... I mean, I'm an inside quiet person, so yeah. being able to sneak <laughs> home and, and be with my family and my kids, it's been great. Even in the last couple days, being able to still take my kids to school in the morning and have oh, breakfast when I'm and even if I go home and have that, that dinner hour time with my family, even if I have to come back, it's just nice to have those little pockets of time where I can reconnect with everyone. And that's been nice and another benefit of, of opening a location in my own community. So yes. I can kind of do that back and forth. That work-life balance, I think, I heard from another entrepreneur, it's more like work-life integration. There you go. Because yeah. it's not necessarily one or the other, it's just that, that integration to make both work. So I would say that those little pockets of time are really important yes. to me. So. Yeah, yeah. well, when you own your business, it's not something that you just drop at the end of the day. No. And yeah. it's also an opportunity to teach your kids, you know, about what you do and, and involve them in that process. Yeah. So. And that's been good for them to understand what I'm doing and mm -hmm. that we're doing this as a family and we're yes. all in this together. It was a family decision to do oh, this, so that's, yeah, that's nice. Not to mention the fact that self-care is the juices. Like, Absolutely, <laughs> and that's the nice thing too. I mean, I, I know nutritionally I'm covered. Yeah, uh, if I was working anywhere else, and I probably wouldn't be eating and be busy and not make yeah. time for that. But it's lovely. We're always we sample everything that we make, not only from you know a quality control perspective, but also just to to nourish ourselves as we go. So it's wonderful to be able to be drinking little samples of juice yes. all throughout the day, be tasting what the raw food kitchen is making throughout the day. So. I think more than ever, I know that nourishing yourself, that's important. Right. And 
over these last few weeks, I know with maybe a lack of sleep, <laughs> yeah. um, a little bit of stress, yeah. some things that aren't necessarily in the best place, I know I'm nourishing myself. Yes. I don't think I would be able to do the things that I'm doing if I wasn't taking care of myself. Right. Exactly. So just going off topic just slightly, yeah. um, what made you choose, like you said, you have your commerce degree. Yes. So what made you choose a juicery? What made you choose gold juicery? I think the concept just really resonated with me. Um, I was, you know, not seriously looking, but just looking at what might be out there in terms of a business, but yeah. that's so broad. Yeah. Um, very, very <laughs> yes. broad. And, and came across Glow Juicery, and I just love the idea. I mean, previously to this, I worked um, for the provincial government, and I was in public health and in health protection. And it's, it's almost a similar thing. It's about protecting your health and taking ownership of your own health and wellness. And I think I'm almost doing the same thing in just a more tangible way. Right? Instead of being in the policy side, I'm now helping to provide the things right. that I feel like can protect your health. And, and that's important. I think I always wanted to do something that I was passionate about. Um, it's not just a job, it's something that I believe in. So I was really excited to partner with Gold Juicery and be a part of this amazing new company. I mean, it's, it's new. This isn't... It's changing every day, yeah. even from when I've had those first conversations with bringing the concept to St. Albert's yes. over the last year, yeah. we're doing incredible things. So it's nice exactly. to be a part of something that's growing and new. So yeah, it's wonderful. And exciting. delivering amazing products. I've already tried it. And it's <laughs> they're delicious. Yeah, they, they are, are delicious. delicious. And so nutrient dense. And that's, yeah. that resonates with people. People yes. are so excited when they come in. I mean, yeah. it's, it's a convenient option, yes. but it's still something that you can feel good about. It's not, oh, I had to eat out today and feel yeah. sad about it. You're still nourishing yourself. Exactly. And I think so, more and more people are realizing that they, they want to eat whole foods, they want to take care of themselves, but time may be a constraining factor, knowledge may be a constraining factor. We take care of all those things for you. So it's so good to make So this is a, a big one for me. I always think about um, what I'm constantly learning, I'm constantly reflecting on that. Yeah. So what, what are you currently learning? I think leadership is, is a big part of it. Again, a lot of my previous roles have been more independent, I suppose. And, you know, maybe having some smaller leadership over smaller projects, but I feel like owning a business, um, it's, it's a different kind of leadership. And I feel very responsible for the people <laughs> yes. that are, are doing this with me. I could not do it alone. I want to make sure that I'm taking care of all of my team members. I want to do a good job of being in that leadership role. Yeah. But also acknowledging and being very open about the fact that I don't know everything. And I'm still learning too. This is a new role for me as well. Right? So what I tell my whole team is that we're all new. It's not just one person joining an existing high-functioning team. We're all sort of figuring out where our roles and responsibilities lie and, and coming together and learning how to do do the best with yeah. each other. Well, it sounds like you're employing a lot of authenticity and openness, vulnerability, because, you know, to actually say, you know, I'm new, yeah. um, that takes a lot of strength because rather than hiding behind that mask of, oh, I yeah. know I know everything. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And that, that's taken a lot of years. I mean, I would say, you know, you say, oh, okay, you're a perfectionist. That's not yeah. a good thing. <laughs> that's not a good thing to be because I think you try to have this facade of, yes, I know everything. I don't need any right. help. And I will figure that out and take that all on yourself. And it's not... It's okay to acknowledge the things that you're good at and maybe the things that you're not, yeah. and you're still learning. Yes. Um, and I've, you know, told my staff and the people that come in here, you know, I'm going to make mistakes. Oh yeah. Um, I will do my very best to correct them. And even though I might not do things perfectly, you will always have the best of my intentions. Yes. <laughs> and you will always have my full effort. Yeah. So, you know, as a, it's training for my staff, but I'm training alongside them and with them. You know, so Absolutely. it's. It's, it's nice, it's kind of freeing to acknowledge that. Yeah. To be like, it's, I know that I don't know everything either, but I, you know, we'll all figure it out together. So, that's nice. Have, there's a, a book that I've read at least at least 10 times, uh, The Soul of Leadership by Deepak Chopra. Okay. And that message rings so true to this. And I would recommend this book to everybody who is aspiring to be a leader in anything, uh, whether it's in a family group, uh, business, community, whatever, yeah. um, because that's it, what it embodies is this idea that you know you show up as a leader, you provide connection to your team, you're accessible, you're honest, yeah. and that uh, that provides connection and it and it shows the community um, 
what you're about. And being in St. Albert is yeah. it's such a community oriented place. For sure. And that's it's important to me because I know the people that are walking in the door. Yes. I mean they're friends of mine, they're friends of my friends, my family. Yes. So there's you know, you want to do things right because I'm providing this for my community. I grew up here, I'm raising yes. my kids here, so I want to yes. do a really good job of this because now all of a sudden, my face behind it. I want everyone yeah. to have this really good experience because I feel like it's a personal offering and I want everyone to enjoy it as much yeah. as I do. So, yeah. Next question that I have for you is, what is your favorite quote of the moment yes. or in general? Or I was reading through your email at like 11.30 yeah. last night. Oh, no. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. What should my favorite quote be? And yes. I think I was sort of overthinking what you were looking for too. Yeah. So I think just the most top of mind, just because I'm living in this right now, is you are what you eat. I know that's oh, kind of an it. old adage, but um, I don't know. That's what glow is all about. Yes. I think it's so much more than nourishing yourself from a, a physical perspective. But when you're eating something, I mean, it's nourishing every single part of you. So yes. it's your clarity of mind, your emotional balance. I think yes. it's important to note that it's just so much more physical representation and so I like people to think about that when they're feeling emotionally unbalanced or yeah. not well from other perspectives to try to use what you're putting into your body as a tool right in your overall wellness a tool so much times it's just there's hunger you feel that void and you carry on and you're not exactly. really nourishing yourself so yeah you're not stopping to actually think you know what do I need what's going to make me feel better exactly yeah well and it's and we focus so much on the outside you know skin hair yes. is a big thing yeah clothes we wear yeah. But we don't often think about those things that we put in our body. So. Yeah, and that's so important. I mean, truly, it affects every aspect of your being. Yes. You know, so I, again, it's about clarity of mind, your emotional stability, every single part of who you are. So, yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Uh, last question for you. So, what's one thing uh, that you've recently learned that if you could, you would share with everybody that you meet? Um, I guess that it's okay to ask for help. Yeah. That's a, been a big learning for me. It's all right to not be able to do everything yourself. And, and I think more often than not, people are willing to help. They're just waiting for They're a request. Help. Exactly. Yeah. And I think it's very hard. I don't know. It's very hard for us to do that, to say, yes, I do need that help. Yes. Or be in a position to not repay the favor immediately. That's, it's, it's hard to feel indebted to someone else. But you know, again, more often than not, people do want to help support you. And it's been a great, it's been surprising that support that I found from unexpected places. It's it's amazing. Friends that I haven't even known that long coming to the table. Absolutely. I will help you do events or it's it's yeah. pretty incredible. You know, oh, it's nice too emotional because we just would have never anticipated something like that. So yes, yeah, nice to see, you know, a community rally around you. Yes. So that's absolutely. really incredible. Well I think that's what happens when you you kind of put yourself out there, right? Yeah. So as soon as you make yourself public and accessible and available, yeah. people want to help you and and they want uh, to be connected with you too because that's their goal. They want to be seen and heard and felt. And, and so being accessible like that, I think really actually inspires so many other people to do the same thing. Absolutely. So that's amazing to hear because uh, that's what I know, that's what my goal is uh, with, with my company. and. That's why we're having this interview, so that we can kind of connect with our community and, and let them know what you do to help find your inspiration. No, well, I think that's great. And it's nice to be able to show people your vulnerability, too. Yes, that. I think sometimes you can have this mask of, no, I have it, I've got it all, and okay, you know, but it's, it's okay to say, I don't have it all, I do need yeah. some help, <laughs> can you do this help or me? that? Yes. And, yeah, so that's a nice, a nice place to be. Well, that's all that well, we're going to chat about for today. So thank, thank you so much. <laughs> yes, yes, thank you for joining us. And I'll put more information about uh, Fallon and Glow in, in the bio here. And you can connect with her on Facebook. Um, come into the store in St. Albert. It's in Tudor Glen, right beside the safe one. Yeah. And yeah, until next time, we'll chat with you then. Thank you so much. Thanks. Thanks.